I think it's important the research memorial because it is really difficult to know where we're going if we don't know where we've been. And we were created as a living memorial. There was a big public debate back in, 19, in the early 1920s about what form a memorial should take. There was a group of people that wanted a cenotaph, which we got, the one down on, you know, between Water and Duckworth Street, the National War Memorial, it's still called, and it's where we all gather every July 1st and November 11th and pay homage. But there was also a group of people, far-sighted, thinking people who thought, if we are going to prevent this from ever happening again, we have to educate our people. We have to educate them in the past and the potential for the future. And out of that came Memorial University College in 1925 and Memorial University in 1949. We were named Memorial as a living memorial to the war dead and to those that came back, every single one of whom was changed in some way. And we've been rededicated to the Newfoundlanders and Labradorians whose lives were lost and who took part in World War II, in the Korean War, and in all subsequent conflicts that have involved Canadian troops. It is important for us to be able to provide information to every single one of our students, to the research community at large, about who we are and why we're here. And the people from this place who took part in the First World War are an integral part of why we exist.